Hello, Andrada here. Welcome to the last uh, video in the series of uh, Hotjar Feedback. Today we will be talking about how to create surveys on the site using Hotjar. So as you can see, this is a dashboard. And on the left side menu, under Feedback, we have the Surveys button. Uh, here, after you clicked on Surveys, you have this big green button to create a new survey. So I'm going to click on it. And now, in a couple of simple steps, you can set up your survey. So first of all, uh, it's the um, English of the survey. I'm going to go with English now. Then you have the title, Help Us Improve. Help us improve our website. Okay. Then you also you can also add a description if you want. Um, then you added the thank you message. Uh, you have the option to um, show the Hotjar branding or to hide it. The Hotjar branding is this uh, little small icon. I will uh, click to hide it. You can also upload the logo, uh, the logo of Greenpeace, which is uh, nice because uh, incoming feedback and for polls, you can't really change the logo. So this one is nice. Then you have the um, option to, to survey invite. Uh, and now we will customize what people we want to invite uh, to fill in the survey. So the pop-up can be customized. Mm, this is how it's going to look like. Uh, these are the invitation invitation texts. Uh, the page targeting then. I will uh, choose to target the um, explore pages on the staging site of Greenpeace International. So I will select from this list a URL starts with. And then I'm going to the site um, to copy the link. And URL starts with, and I have the link here, explore, as you can see, and I click on done. Okay, so I have one page targeting your website. Then we have the device targeting. I want to be shown on all the devices, so I keep them. Uh, if I unclick on one, if I click on one, it will be taken out of the uh, targeting, but I want all three of them, um, desktops, tablets, and uh, mobile phones. Then I have the options to choose the behavior, like when the survey should uh, trigger. Um, you have a couple of uh, options. I don't really like uh, the option of immediately after the page loads, because I feel it's a little bit intrusive, maybe. So this time I'm going to go after a couple of seconds. So let's say five seconds. Okay. You also have some advanced uh, options where you... Um, Choose the percentage of the visitors that should see the survey invite. I will uh, leave it now for 100%. Um, and I also change the status to active. So after I create it, it will be active immediately. I add the questions. Here on the right um, side is where you add the questions. You have a lot of options, a lot of types of questions you can choose from. Um, I have some questions prepared, so I'm going to go with this ones. So first one it is going to be a radio question. So you type the question here and then you have the answers. Okay, let me just copy paste some questions. You simply add a new answer, as you can see. Okay. Um, and then... You also have the option to make it uh, mandatory, uh, required, and you also have the option to randomize the answers. I'm not going for that option right now. Then I have uh, check boxes. Let's say uh, this is going to be my second question. In fact, I am going to change them. I'm going to make this one check boxes and this one radio buttons. Okay. Okay, the goal of the visit today, and I copied these options I have in this document. Okay, you add as many answers as you want. There's no limit. But of course, you can't really go on forever. Okay, let me just grab one more, maybe. Okay, perfect. 
if you want, for example, um, a comment, uh, like you have other Intellis North field, you can enable it from here. Uh, freeform comment enabled, and I clicked on this, so let's see what happens. Um, okay, so I put in here two questions. Okay, another question, I want a short answer, which country, so the person will uh, just type in what country. And then um, let's click on preview to see how it looks like. This is how it looks like. These are the checkboxes and then the radio buttons. Okay, um, and which country do you live in? What country? Which is a short um, answer. And then that's it. I'm gonna save it. And I'm going here to see all my surveys right now. Okay, if you want to add it again, just click on here and you click on add it. You can also create a copy, delete it, or review the survey. And now let's go on the page to see if it shows up. I'm going to refresh the page now. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to scroll. Okay, here it is. My survey just popped up because I was here on the page for more than five seconds. So this is the message. Um, the user has, the visitor has the option to give you feedback or not. <laughs> I will click on yes, I will give feedback. So uh, you are taken on a, the user is take, the visitor is being taken on a different page. And here he has the option to uh, reply to the questions. That's it. And then to click on send. Then um, the thank you message is displayed and the user can close the page and go back to uh, yeah, navigating on the website. If we refresh, you will see that you are already able to view responses here, the button, this button, because we have at least one response. Um, yeah, this is how the survey is displayed. You can see like uh, each of the questions. Um, yeah, and then if you have a couple more, you can see the results like this uh, for uh, every question. And when you have more results, the count here will be, uh, of course, uh, more than one. And then you will see um, the open-ended uh, questions are visualized in, in a word cloud. So you can see here, okay, <laughs> big word here. <laughs> Yes, this is guys with uh, setting up surveys with Hajar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think about it. See you soon.